Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Uh -huh. Wow, wow. Hey, man, listen, man, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Um, man, I, this just had to happen here a little bit ago when I looked at it. It was streaming all over the place, man. Jerry Jones, man, I, like I said, I don't know what happened. Make sure you guys, just, like I said, join our membership too, but we got to talk about this Jerry Jones statement, man. Um, big fan of the Cowboys will always be with the demographics I'm in. I'm always standing up on what the Cowboys stand for. Uh, I don't know if this was a joke. I know a lot of people saying it was a joke. I just seen it. I start reading comments and it was crazy. Man, I guess Jamie Foxx was alive. Seemed like they was at a practice session or in a in the box or something. I don't know where they was at. But Jamie was recording on his live. As people do. And, and you know, I don't even see Jamie a lot no more. Like, I only see him every now and then. And he looks good. Uh, um, he, he don't seem like he have any ailments or health ailments, but he's pushed back a lot since, since what happened to him when he got sick. And I don't know, like I said, want to see more of him. Uh, he's hilarious, you know, and as you and I both know, he's a big cowboy fans, love the Cowboys. He's always getting behind the Cowboys whenever they're doing something. If they got a game, he's pulling up. I remember DeRoe and him was hanging out. And, um, shoot, man, uh, the boy's serious about them Cowboys. When the Cowboys come on, it's a couple of people you keep in mind, like him, Charlemagne the God, Jay-Z, uh, my boy KLC. Uh, it's, a, it's a few of them, Die Hard, Ronnie Spencer. Like, it's some Die Hard Cowboy fans out here. And so when the season starts, you can expect to see them. You can hear, you get to hear a Duro hit, a Duro music. On he gonna do some. That Star Baby was a big thing in the last few years that he been really, really hitting. And if you guys listen to it, it's crazy the way it sound, man. It come on and it be like, do 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 ba do. Yeah. Uh, the clubs pay me, the bars pay me. And so that Star Baby, shot. man, like. He, which he brought back from the bar baby, you know what I'm saying? And he just always, I mean, it's a dope anthem for the city when you think about just somebody representing, you know, Dallas Cowboys. But never in a million years would I have thought that it would be a thing where it comes down to a live where you see Jerry speaking. And like I said, I don't think he realized that he was on a live. It doesn't seem. Um, uh, when it happened, J J Jamie Foxx put that camera, he, uh, he stopped it live. It, it caught him by surprise. You see his eyes. You can tell that he, did, he, didn't, he didn't expect that. He didn't see that coming. Um, I think that's something, you know, that the lives and these older guys and what they say behind the scenes, sometimes when you get older, it comes out. I don't believe that he has any, uh, you know, any... Uh, mental, you know, as far as trauma go, as far as uh, all timers or nothing. But a lot of times when you look at this, man, a lot of these guys have been talking and saying these things behind the scene a long time. Does it make it right? No. Um, I know it caught Jamie by surprise from all the rules and regulations you see now, harassment, uh, sexual assault, all type of stuff start to be a thing where people start to speak on things in that way because of what was said. So you got to be careful when you even in these environments because you don't know. And if he was a brother doing that and it was a young, uh, a younger uh, white guy there and he heard him say something like that and he wanted to, he could pursue legal, legal issues with it. Um, but, you know, like I said, it, it, it's crazy because I never, never in a million years, you wouldn't think you hear these things, but you know that these things are being said. You know that there are some privileges being given when it come down to you know, uh, people who don't look like us. So you have to be very careful um, when you, when, you know, even when you're in these situations, because just, I, I don't know when the video came out, but just Jamie's, you know, uh, being uh, connected with him and 
this, you know, being said, they could look a certain way at Jamie because of it getting out and he didn't even, and it was out because of him being on live. So you just, it's just crazy. But like I said, is this stuff going on and we just don't even have an understanding of what's being said, how it's being said all the time. What are those, what scrutiny are these players going under? I mean, he's this tall. He, he got a big, you know, come on, my guy. I mean, what is that? What kind of conversation are we having here? You know, what are you thinking to say, say that, you know, like I said, he rich. And I like, I think a lot of times him, Diddy, a bunch of people like Jerry Jones, Diddy, a couple of more, you know, all of these people, when they get this money, uh, they feel like money is, is something that can cause them to be able to do and say things that normal people who are not on that level can do. They think they can do it when others can't. They think they're privy to it because of their money. They think their money it, it, it equates to them to be able to oversee, overrule, over, overextend the way they talk versus do everybody else. So I'm saying this and I'm saying this with authority. Hey, I'm being real with you, man. You're not going to be able to get away with this stuff, man. God is not going to permit it either. So a lot of time when people are doing stuff, I believe in the, you reap what you sow. Uh, if you sow a bad seed, you get a bad harvest. I believe in these things. So that's just me. I don't think you can get away. You're not getting away with anything. You may think, oh, it, it's not something that's affecting me. And you may think that you're in some situation where you are on a whole nother level. But believe me, it's going to come a time when you're going to have to account for what you do. So I, I always keep that in mind. That's what keeps you from running around doing certain things. And I just know that, you know, that keeps you from running around doing certain things. And I be tripping off of it. So I just think that a lot of times, you know, when people do things, they tend to get away with it. You're not. So all I'm saying is, guys, do you really think that uh, Jerry Jones, um, is, should there be consequences behind this? Um, do you think that he's privileged to say whatever and nobody can be offended? What do you guys think? Do you feel like Jerry Jones, Jamie Foxx um, should, I mean, he did he do the right thing cutting that thing off? Um, boy, listen, that boy talking about that torpedo. On one of them players, he talking about that 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 yeah that 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 pumps in the bumps. You know what I'm saying? He he was he was uh yeah he called it whatever you know right there. He didn't hold back on what he said. We heard it loud and clear. Like I said, I'm a Cowboys fan, but this is not the kind of uh, uh, stuff that I would expect to hear. Um, the players, I mean. I don't know what what is he if he's saying that around Jamie, what is he saying around the players, you know? Uh when it comes down to them in the locker room and all that stuff, man. You just gotta that, that's a little sus. That's that's a little uh, that's borderline right there. I ain't never seen it. You know, why would I worry about somebody's all that, you know, maybe he's feeling inferior because of the size of one's torpedo. I don't know. Get in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think, man. Jerry Jones of the Dallas Cowboy, Jamie Foxx alive. He gets caught saying whatever, and, and now it exposes the fact of how that behind the scene talk going. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. Jerry Jones, come on now. You're getting too old. We may have to pull you off that sideline or get you out that press box, man. Boss Talk 101, review. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.